Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I posted the coffee video, but me and Ryan have been very busy planning our wedding, which is less than six months out. We are very excited and it's been a very busy time, but now we're gonna be back to uploading a little bit more consistently. So we should have a coffee video at least every two weeks, but hopefully soon it will be once a week. And I figured the perfect video to come back with is gonna be my white chocolate mocha recipe using a homemade white chocolate sauce. Now it's very easy to make this sauce. I'm gonna use equal parts basically of oat milk, the sweetened condensed milk, and then the white chocolate morsels. You can use any milk um, that you prefer. Usually I don't use a full fat milk, usually a fat free or 2% milk, where it's best if you don't wanna use oat milk or almond milk or something like that. Let's get started. Okay, so to start off the white mocha sauce, I'm going to measure out one cup of the white chocolate morsels. I'm going to use a half of a cup of the sweetened condensed milk. And I'm going to use one cup of oat milk. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it on low heat. You can use low to medium heat. It takes about five to 10 minutes in total and you just let it kind of melt down. You let the chocolate morsels melt down and you kind of stir the mix everything together. It's a really easy process. It takes no more than 10 minutes. After it's done heating and everything's mixed together, you can transfer it into a little bowl like how I have here. Okay, so now that I've made my white chocolate sauce, it's time to go ahead and put together the white chocolate mocha. So I'm gonna go ahead and use two shots of blonde espresso, and then I'm going to add in the white mocha. I'm gonna use two tablespoons, and then I'm going to froth up some oat milk and top it with oat milk. So in order for the ingredients to mix well, what I'm gonna do is add the white chocolate into the cup first, and then I'm going to brew the coffee on top of the white chocolate so it can kind of mix together, and then I'm gonna pour the oat milk on top. So we'll go ahead and start with putting the white chocolate into the cup. I have my cup here and I'm going to take my tablespoon and I'm going to go ahead and scoop out two tablespoons. One, two, I actually might go ahead and use, I'm going to use two more. Make it a little bit sweeter. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set this back over here. And then I'm gonna add in the coffee. So this is just one shot of blonde espresso. I'm gonna make two shots to make it a little bit stronger. So here's the first one. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and let the first shot go. And then when that one's done, I'll come back and do the second shot. Okay, so now that the first shot's done, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the second shot. And then I'm also gonna measure out the oat milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this, put in the next one. And go ahead and start that. And then I'm gonna shake up my oat milk. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into the first line in my milk frother. I'm gonna cover it here. And then let that froth. And then I'll come back when the milk is done frothing and then this shot is almost done. Okay, so the milk just finished frothing. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the milk into my glass here. I'm gonna take it so I can pour. It's nice and hot and frothy. Ooh, that looks really good. Okay, 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a stir. You can top with whipped cream since it already has a lot of sugar in it. I'm not gonna put any, um, but usually at Starbucks, they serve it with a little bit of whipped cream. But there you have a hot white chocolate mocha with homemade mocha sauce. Okay, now it's time for the taste test. Mmm, that's very good. I highly recommend that you guys take the time to learn how to make your own white mocha sauce. You can make a bunch and save it in your refrigerator for the week, and you can have it to add to your coffee whenever you like. It'll save you a lot of money um, than having to go to Starbucks to get one, and it tastes 10 times better than a Starbucks white chocolate mocha. So I highly recommend that. And that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. Um, as always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. I'll see y'all next time.